Hello everyone and welcome to Educell Clinics where we discuss some key topics related to medical and surgical practice. So this is the third video in our research publishing series and now we start with some important article types. In today's video you will have a step by step guide on how to write a case report. So it is very commonly asked question. Most important part is to identify a case, confirm worthiness of that case then the structure of the case report and some tips as well as a ready template for you to implement while writing a case report. So let's see. So here you can see a flying fish. That is definitely a case report. I hope that gives you an idea of what case report should show. It can be a rare disease, a rare clinical presentation, rare demography, rare diagnostic approach, a rare management option or a new management option, a rare or a new surgical technique or improvisation in the already existing technique or a rare outcome such as long-term follow-up, long-term survivor or a rare recurrence. All these are important case reports because these add value to already existing knowledge, right? So these are the topics that can be taken as a case report publication type, right? To confirm worthiness, check on PubMed, Google Scholar, ResearchGate, look at the already present articles and look at the value that you can add to already published literature. Remember that it is not good to be overconfident in publishing. Don't feel that what you have treated or managed is a very unique thing. In medical field, if you diagnose very unique things, you are seldom right. Okay, common things are commonly right. Rare things are rarely right. That is what is taught to all of us. Discuss in the department and in your author team whether the thing is actually unique. Okay, understand that it is a want of the literature that you are trying to fulfill and not your own need to publish an article. Okay, we currently get a lot of requests from a lot of students that we need two articles to, you know, get better scores in MLE or we need two articles to qualify for PG in some place. These are not good indications to start your literary journey, okay? You will not contribute to literature and you are just wasting your time. It is important to understand that a research from you is going to be taken as education by someone else, okay? So... Create articles of value, understand the need of the topic and understand the want in that specific area, the lacune in that specific area to contribute an article. So once you have identified a case report, you have checked if that case report is good enough to be published. You should know the structure of how to write the case report, the word limits, the headings and so on. Okay. So let us see a brief overview of the structure. A case report has an abstract. On the other end, it has references. We are going to have a separate video on abstract writing and references. But the core article has introduction, case details, discussion and conclusion. Okay, There are four parts to a case report. Introduction, case details, discussion and conclusion. Introduction summarizes the need okay, that you are trying to fulfill. Like I said, you have already browsed through literature. You have seen why this topic is important. That is basically the introduction. You raise a query based on your case. An introduction should not be more than 50 to 100 words in a case report. Coming to details, it's a typical Practical case discussion, you go from history, physical examination, then differential diagnosis, then investigations, then imaging findings, and then management and follow-up. This is the most important part because it's a case report. So your case description should be covering all these points and it can be around 500 to 700 words. Going to discussion, you compare your case with previous reports, you can use 5 to 10 cases and summarize all of them in a table to compare and contrast your findings and your management with previously reported management. Okay, This can be in around 200 words. 
conclusion is basically an answer to the introduction okay this is a very simple technique that i use in introduction you raise a question or summarize the need in conclusion you show how your case report fulfills that need or answers that question okay again around 50 to 100 words so the rough limit for a case report in various journals is around 800 to 1000 words so if you follow this schema you can see that your total word limit is around 1000 words this is important because many times students write case reports which are 2000 3000 words and then it is very difficult to cut short the case report to around 1000 words understand that concept of minimalism applies to publishing also less is more okay so if your case report can be finished in 800 words you don't need 2000 words right like i said abstract and references we are going to cover separately so tips for writing a good case report as, as i already told in the first two videos select the journal first and format your report as per guidelines stick to the word count of around 800 to 1000 words if you select 10 or 12 similar articles of last two years, they will serve as your references. Remember that relevant recent references are always preferred compared to references from 1950s and 60s. If you are writing an article on 2023, your references should be ideally after 2020 unless you are quoting a historical data. Template I am giving you in the next slide or it's available in the book also, which you can use. Compare your case with previous cases and use pictures, flowchart, table, which gives you better representation. Keep patient consent ready. So these are some of the important tips that help you in preparing your case report faster. Now, this is a template that I usually use. You can see introduction, two paragraphs introduce the lacuna and aim or purpose of writing the case reports this is total 50 to 100 words the case report in history presentation investigations imaging findings management and follow-up that is the case report part the discussion you can compare and ensure a good storyline give only the salient features of the case and literature right conclusion again not more than one to two take home messages then you put your references, your compliance with ethical standards and the figure legend, right? So this is a template that you can easily use for case reports. This template is available in this book. The book is free for Kindle Unlimited users. So you can use it on Amazon Kindle and you can use these templates as well as other templates that are available in the book. For further reading, this is a very good article on tips for writing a case report. So if you are interested on this topic, you can read this article. Thank you.